The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some fresh, brand new Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and also check out my last video because it greatly helps out the channel. So let's get into it. So during the Ahsoka series and the events following the Battle of Lothal, Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn will reportedly wind up in an area called the New Beyond or New Space. Though those names may not be official, the rumor has been shared by Making Star Wars and describes this is a completely new, unexplored area of the Star Wars universe, never before referenced even in novels and comics. Additionally, this territory is inhabited by beings who perceive the Force differently than traditional Star Wars characters. Making Star Wars suggests that magic users outcast by societies have appeared in other stories, with some indicators pointing to Ivana Gano playing a night sister in Ahsoka. Diana Lee and Asado Morgan Isabella also hails from this realm and is said to have been appearing in the series. Making Star Wars also stated that Lars Mikkelsen is reportedly playing live action Thrawn, a continuation of the role he voiced in Star Wars Rebels. So how does a new space fit into the galaxy? Star Wars is at its most fascinating when its weird new elephants are introduced. Dave Filoni has done this twice before with the Mortis arcs in the Clone Wars and the world between worlds from Star Wars Rebels throwing wrinkles into a galaxy fans know they thought they knew well. In Star Wars literature, a realm called No Space is explored in the High Republic era and accessed by the original trilogy heroes in a Star Wars 2020 comic runs. The Chiss Ascendancy lies within the unknown regions of space where remnants of the Empire fled following the Battle of Jakku. Exegol and the Rise of Skywalker is also in that territory. A Sith Wayfinder was required to reach that, if you guys remember from Rise of Skywalker. But those options don't seem to be what the new beyond or new space is unless making Star Wars is missing pieces of information. Common assumptions that Ezra and Thrawn return to the Ascendancy to help defeat the Gris threat may be off the mark, particularly given the origins of the Night Sisters in this new chunk of the galaxy. So anyway, what do I think about this? Okay, this is new and interesting, and they're very right. Um, Star Wars is at its best when it's new and weird. Um, George Lucas obviously started this with, you know, um, Empire Strikes Back with the force tree and the force visions of that nature and then also dave filoni like they just said the clone wars with the mortis arcs and the world between worlds so it's going to be interesting to see this new sect of star wars like i said it just makes the galaxy a lot bigger than we originally perceived it possibly we could get out of this galaxy and go into the next it also could lead into the Yu Yuzon Vong, which I am semi-anticipating hinted might be coming on the pipeline pretty soon because that was a very big part of Legends. And Lucasfilm right now is picking specifically from like the best part of Legends. Time will only tell. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this article. Let me know what you think about the quote unquote new space and all this. You think it's cool? Do you think um, we don't know, need anything? We just need to stay in the galaxy that we know. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.